What is up? It's Chris and I am back doing videos on fish aquariums. Today is a bit of a rant, but hopefully I can help people while doing this rant. This video is going to be aimed at how to cycle a fish aquarium instantly or how to do it without fish or how to do it with fish. I want to debunk some of the stuff going on in the hobby. There's so much crap going on in the Facebook groups that I'm literally going to hit my head on a wall. So it's a lot simpler than what we have to make it. And I want to just kind of give you guys a simplified guide where I kind of give you some advice on how to do it the simple way. I'm guessing that you found this video because you're researching how to cycle a fish aquarium because maybe you're in the process of setting up a new fish tank. Uh, that's awesome. That's, uh, I mean, fish tanks, you cannot get enough of them, right? Just be careful because they're a little addicting. So we are trying to cycle a fish aquarium. What it means to cycle a fish tank is to essentially kind of create a ecosystem inside the tank. What happens is the entire cycle is essentially like beneficial bacteria that grow mainly on the, on the filter in there. Sorry guys, these minnows are, or the reservoirs are kind of freaking out in here. So I, I'm sorry, I tapped on the glass a little bit. So it's essentially an ecosystem. And what happens is a lot of these products are sell, or a lot of these companies are selling products that, that sell kind of the idea of setting up a cycle. For instance, here's API's Quick Start. That's one of them. It allows you to instantly, or allows instant addition of fish, right? Um, where's some other ones? Here's one, the one by Fritz. Uh, Fritzyme, live nitrifying bacteria. Guys, they're, pretty much every brand in the hobby makes one because what happens is there's a lot of money in this chemical because people are constantly trying to look for a quick fix on how to cycle their aquarium. So first of all, you just set up a fish tank. Let's say this is the fish tank. And um, ideally in a perfect world, you would cycle this without any fish. That's kind of what the hobby thinks because Sometimes it is said that when we cycle aquariums that the process is sometimes harmful to the fish. And what happens is sometimes if your ammonia levels get a little too high, what happens is it starts to, it burns the gill plates on the fish because that's kind of the most sensitive part of the fish where the water is continuously going through because they're breathing through the water. Um, without getting too technical, hey, who's in here? What kitty? I just heard a ringle, a jingle. <laughs> so. Ideally, um, what we would do to cycle a fish aquarium without any fish, it's actually pretty simple to cycle a fish aquarium without using fish. What you wanna do is find something that decays in the aquarium that's natural. Fish food is a pretty natural one. And what happens is, uh, it is said that you should put a pinch of food in the tank like every four to five days, I think they say. Uh, it could be more than that, once a week or so. Uh, long story short, what happens is, the fish food starts to decay inside the aquarium. And then what happens is that in turn creates ammonia. And then that turns to nitrite. And then that turns to nitrite. And then when, when the water flows through the filter, that nitrite in the filter, uh, beneficial bacteria grows on it. Um, it's somewhat of a complicated process. And I don't want to overcomplicate this. this. The whole idea of this video is to make things simple. And a lot of, you know, I have 60,000 subscribers. And I apologize because a lot of you guys already know this, but I want to, I, I got to do this video to kind of like just debunk a lot of this stuff. So, uh, the fish, the fishless cycle works. Okay. Um, it, except what the biggest con or the biggest setback on the fishless cycle is that you got to wait sometimes like two months. I hear a lot of people are like, Hey, it's been two to three months. I want, I want to put fish in my fish aquarium. And it's like, hell yeah you do like what that that process doesn't work that great so the second process is to to do a fish in cycle that's where we use fish and that's pretty much the process i use fish in plants let's 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 make it that because fish by themselves that can be done but fish and plants so what i advise people do is to get yourself a glass box also known as an aquarium add some gravel or a plant substrate of your choice. I'm not even gonna go down that rabbit hole. Um, get a substrate and start planting plants. And then also, this is a huge deal too, get yourself some floating plants because these will save your butt. Say if something happens in your tank where you get like an ammonia spike, these floating plants consume nitrates like crazy and they will save you. Um, and also, get yourself a decent light. Uh, get online, Amazon, I'll throw a link in the description box. Uh, or if you don't wanna buy it there, that's totally cool. 
Uh, get yourself like a decent plant light. Get on Amazon, search for one. It's super simple. I see so many people buying like these little cheap lights like that or the kit lights. They don't grow plants with a crap. They're not bright enough. These, these lights have the color spectrum and it makes a big deal. So now that that rant is over, um, add the plants, the floaters, plant them. Uh, put a couple small fish in there. This is a fish in cycle, remember. Get yourself a couple small little guppies. Two guppies and that's gonna be perfect because what's happening here is coming back to the theory of needing to create a little bit of ammonia. These fish are going to put off ammonia and essentially that's going to start moving to the next stage of nitrate and then nitrate and then uh, boom, you have a fish in cycle. Why I like this process better to cycle the aquarium is because the tank is cycling to having fish inside of it because a lot of times what happens is when your tank cycles, uh, essentially creating an ecosystem, it's it's to the bio load of the fish food. And sometimes when you put in the fish, it's different from versus the bio load of the, the food, if that makes any sense. Hopefully I'm not losing too many of you. Um, and that's a great process. That's the process we do in pretty much all the tanks we set up uh, if, if we just don't instantly cycle it. And that's what I wanna get at here. Instantly cycling the tank is really, really easy. Let me flip the cam here and I'll show you something. So like I was telling you guys before, all of the cycle is essentially held into the filter pad because that's what the beneficial bacteria mainly grow on. Uh, they do grow on the glass and other things like driftwood, all surfaces, but mainly in that, in that surface pad. Here's a sponge filter and the bacteria, if I can pull this up, grow on this pad. And this is the key to success. If we want to instantly cycle a fish aquarium, all we have to do is put this pad, a used pad that's been in a, in a in a an established aquarium for like a month or so, and then put it inside of your aquarium that you want to instantly cycle. And uh, people ask me how long does it take to sit in a tank? Usually like four to six weeks. Then you can jump you can jumpstart other tanks with it. Um, all you have to do here is you can even rip off. Say if you had a hang in the back filter, just like a regular AquaClear 110, like I have over there. What you can, here it is over here. What you can do is just rip off a chunk of the filter pad and throw it in your in, in the back of your filter. What the heck? Oh, there's not even a filter pad in here, weird. That's because this tank is a jungle and it's chaos. It's absolutely chaos. We haven't done a water change on this tank in like six months, seven months. We don't do them. And it's just stacked full of fish. That shows you like plants. A lot of these tanks actually in here have gone through periods where the filters just stop working and I've entirely neglected it. And like these, these, these tanks do fine with just plants. I'm convinced I could unplug a lot of these filters and the plants would take over. Look at that. Like these, a lot of these, see that sponge filter? It's barely even working. This one too. It's barely doing anything. Those need to be cleaned. Uh, but look at the tanks thriving. So there's three methods on how to cycle a fish tank. And the easiest is to obviously instantly cycle your aquarium by putting a used filter pad in your fish tank. You can reach out in your local Facebook groups, ask somebody for some filter pad. Uh, I sell used sponge filters to a lot of people locally just because, you know, I have multiple ones in tanks just for that purpose. Go to your fish store, ask them, can I buy that? Um, and also the second method is to do fish in which the method I talked about, use small fish, start small. Uh, leave the fish in the tank and don't add anything and feed them just a little tiny bit. Only feed the amount in which the fish can consume in a couple of minutes because all, all that food that you add is creating excess amounts of ammonia. And we wanna keep that ammonia to like one to two parts per million or else it's gonna screw up that cycle growing process. And uh, let the plants do their thing. Leave the tank be for like two months, honestly. Just let it season out. That's the key here. People rush this stuff so much. Honestly, you should be keeping small little tiny fish uh, just, to, just to grow a cycle and create an ecosystem for like two months. That's what, that's what I do. Especially if you're keeping a plant to tank substrate. And the last, uh, and the last method is to use a fish list where you kind of just dab a little bit of fish food in there in hopes that the food decays and creates ammonia. So hopefully this video helps you. I know it was kind of just like me blabbing, but I needed to do this video to kind of send people the link on how to instantly cycle your aquarium versus the other methods. This, uh, this, you can instantly cycle your fish aquarium. It's really easy. 
Guys, hit me up in the comment section. I'm sorry to the subscribers, the 60,000 subs that are just like, yeah, we want we want some cool content, you know, but it is what it is. I had to get this video off my chest because I, I can't deal with people messaging me anymore. And that's what I do with a lot of my videos because I, I get so many messages, guys. Um, yeah, without further ado, I love you guys. Please subscribe, like the video, comment.